Hello there! Welcome to our next Kerbal Space Program video. In this video, we're going to be going to um, explore a comet. So they just recently added comets to the game after the KSP 1.10 release. And I looked on YouTube, there weren't a lot of people that actually went to explore a comet. And most of the people that actually did were just playing the mission, the Rosetta mission that comes in the start screen of the game. So I decided to make this mission and I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys too. Uh, before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we get to that goal of 100. That way we can release the new Weather Balloon series. But anyways, let's get into this. So what you see right here is a probe. And on the probe, there's two other landers on it. So these two landers will detach from the probe after the probe comes next to the comet. And those two landers will go close to the comet and use their Clampotron Juniors to uh, attach to the comet. Pretty much like the Rosetta mission, except the Rosetta mission only had one lander. So we're using two landers this time. So in this mission, we're going to need a lot of Delta V because comets are different from planets. So we made a pretty big rocket here. Just a side note, I think those vector engines, that blue color, that bluish purple color looks awesome. I hope the um, developers of this game add more engines with that color. But anyways, let's get back to this. So we're making an uh, intersection right here. And a little tip for you guys, try to have the intersection in the near the apogee or the apoapsis of the comet's orbit because that's when the comet's going the slowest. So it'll save you a lot of delta V. But I, I had a ton of delta V, so I just went ahead and did it to, at the periapsis, near the periapsis of the comet, just so we could have the video go a bit faster. But anyways, yeah, try to, if you're trying to do this mission on your own, have the intersection near the apoapsis of the comet's orbit instead of the periapsis. Anyways, here we are, we're just slowing down our relative speed, and that's 5,000 meters per second, and that's a lot. So if you were to do the intersection at the apoapsis, then the relative speed would be way lower. That's why you want to have it at the apoapsis. But anyways, um, here, here we are. The comet looks awesome, that white dust ice plume right there. And we're just using our nuclear engines. We're out of fuel now, so we're switching to the probes engines. We're slowly getting our, our relative speed down. That way we can get close to the comet and deploy the landers. So the new 1.10 update was awesome. Those comets are really fun to explore. Um, yeah. Anyways, make sure you guys check out our how to make a model rocket test stand video. We got a lot of support from that and we're really thankful. We got seven subscribers in one day, so keep that up. Anyways, here's the comet. It looks super bright. And right in the center, there is a small body and you'll be able to see it. Now we're um, extending our magnetometer boom, if that's how you say it. I don't know how they fit inside such a small space, but they look awesome. So there it is. It looks very alien, but we're going to land on it. So we're detaching our first probe right there, very small with two RCS blocks right there. And we're slowly going in and collecting science experiments on the way that way we can know more about this mysterious object that is orbiting the sun. So you may be thinking it might be better to use solar panels on this mission because um, we're close to the sun, right? But the comet will actually go farther and farther past Jules' orbit, so um, RTGs are probably the way to go. So as you can see, those little ice particles coming off the comet and we're slowly going in for an attachment. And there we go, we're attached to the comet. Now we're going to detach our second probe, and I had a bit of trouble detaching there, but we got the job done, and now we're going in for our second lander. I don't know why I put a second on there, I just had enough room for another one, so I put another one on there. So, there we are, we're slowly going in. This one I did a bit sloppy landing job, completely destroyed my uh, relay antenna, but we slowly got there. Um, one thing I w w wanted to improve was having extra RCS on there, because every time I wanted to go to the left or up, I'd have to like turn the craft, but we got the job done. 
So there we are, we have two probes attached, and now we can conduct our science experiments. This comet looks really cool. Good job to the developers for making such an awesome looking object in the Kerbal Space um, Kerbal Solar System. So there, there's just a little time warp. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the likes. We're a new, um, we're a new channel, so make sure to subscribe. Other than that, have a great day.